Hello everyone, I'm Leticia from Mint Communications and today I'm joined by Mr. Heath Kondro, Principal of Sunway International School, who's going to share a little bit more about the Canadian curriculum. Heath, good morning. Good morning. So can you tell us in your own words what the Canadian curriculum is all about? The first thing I would say is that in terms of content and university preparation, it's pretty similar to what you'd expect globally. Putting aside the content, it's more about uh, the approach to education and the approach that happens within the classroom. Uh, our curriculum requires that students are much more engaged and much more involved in, in their learning and what goes on in a classroom. Ours is much more about uh, active learning. Uh, teachers are encouraged to compose a student's grade based not only on the things that they produce and their tests, but also things like a conversation that they may have had. And uh, what do you think are the main core values and principles of the curriculum? Uh, as we all know, um, education and jobs that exist now didn't exist 20 years ago. Uh, so we want to give students not just content, but, but we want to give them the skills. So the, uh, the core values are things such as collaboration being an effective communicator, making sure that students uh, uh, make their decisions and make their arguments based on consideration of other people's opinions so that it's more well-rounded. Uh, can you give us a brief explanation on the overall structure of the curriculum itself? As we currently are structured, we tend to take in uh, most of our Malaysian students after they finish UPSR mm -hmm. and they start with us in what's considered grade, ele uh, pardon me, grade 7. Yeah. Okay, so grade 7 and grade 8 would be uh, middle school. And middle school has um, basically the, the uh, all-around subjects ranging from visual arts to expose students to as many different options as possible. As the students progress through high school, uh, grade 9, uh, there's not many options. But once we get into grade 10 and grade 11, especially grade 11 and grade 12, the Canadian curriculum allows in grade 11 and 12 for students to focus on areas of specialization. And as you have explained the structure of the curriculum, what sort of exams do students sit for at the end of grade 12? Our final exams in high school are only a maximum of 30%. Mm. So when we say sitting for exams, it's not uh, the pressure-filled experience uh, that it would be for uh, other curriculums. Um, and because we're licensed teachers, uh, that final 30% might not even be an exam. It might be a 15% exam and a 15% final project. But for the Canadian curriculum, what sets us apart is the majority of a student's grade comes from their daily assessments, their daily work, their unit tests. And why should parents consider enrolling their children in SIS to study the Canadian curriculum? The curriculum itself is strong. It's very progressive. Uh, the second thing I would say is the strength of our teaching staff. Yeah. You know, we've got uh, more than 90% uh, of our teachers are Ontario certified teachers. The ones who are not Ontario certified teachers are, are very strong international teachers that we brought in to, to be part of our Canadian curriculum. Uh, the third thing I think that sets us apart from many, many other schools is our wide variety of extracurricular activities that we offer. So in your opinion, uh, what kind of students are most suited to study this curriculum? the students that, that benefit a little bit more from this curriculum would be the ones who uh, want to ask the extra question mm. for clarification mm. or they want to ask the follow-up or they want to be a more active learner. And this also ties into the last question which is how the curriculum prepares students for pre-university, university and eventually the workplace. I would say that the curriculum does a great job in terms of delivering the, the standard university preparation content. Yeah. You can't go to university without studying your prerequisite math yeah. or having an English level that will allow you to succeed in, in university. So our, our classes will cover that. Uh, the other thing that it will teach is that uh, uh, students need to take some responsibility for their own learning and that can be things such as research skills, that can be things such as uh, collaboration and working well, knowing how to work well with others. Thank you Heath for sharing your knowledge on the Canadian curriculum today. I sure learned a lot more about the Canadian curriculum and I hope all of you did too. <laughs>